Is Microsoft staring at Apple just like that? Maybe they are, maybe not. Apple just made their MacBook Pro even better with the new M4 chip. Everything about it is now improved. The screen looks better, it has more storage space, and the new chip is super fast. Conversely, the Surface Laptop Studio 2, Microsoft's flagship contender, brings its own set of impressive features to this competitive landscape. As we're going to compare them in this video, we'll surely talk about specs. But while specifications play a significant role in this comparison, there are deeper factors that influence this competitive dynamic. So, what could be that? And which one deserves your bucks? Think about how the basic MacBook Pro used to be. It was kind of stuck between two worlds. It had some fancy features like the more expensive Pro laptops, but inside, it was more like a MacBook Air. Last year, they made it better by getting rid of that touch bar thing and making it more like a real Pro laptop. But it still wasn't quite there. It wasn't as powerful, didn't have as much memory to start with, and had fewer places to plug things in. Don't get us wrong, we're not saying the M3 wasn't powerful. It was, but you know what we expect from Apple when they bring a new MacBook Pro upgrade, right? This is where they were missing in the last couple of years. Now, with the M4 version, Apple's finally made it into a real professional laptop. For $1,599, you get the same price as before, but with way more stuff. A stronger processor with 10 cores instead of eight, twice the memory at 16 gigabytes, and an extra port on the right side so you can plug in your charger or screen on either side. While that new Apple intelligence thing isn't super exciting right now, it will surely be one in the upcoming years. Now, the latest iteration of Microsoft's Surface Laptop Studio maintains its transformative design while introducing subtle refinements. The device preserves its signature folding mechanism that allows easy switching between laptop, tablet, and presentation modes. Among notable improvements are an enhanced trackpad, a superior display with Dolby Vision HDR, and additional connectivity options. While Microsoft hints at future AI capabilities, the current focus lies on hardware upgrades. That's why they featured Intel's 13th generation processors and NVIDIA's RTX 4000 series graphics. As Microsoft's premium offering, it directly challenges Apple's M4 MacBook Pro with configurations ranging from $1,999 to $3,299. Despite its innovative design and better construction, there is still something missing. All right, we just saw some cool gadgets that are now quite popular, but that wasn't always the case. A lot of marketing had to be done for them to garner such a fan base. So if you are a business owner and want to increase your sales and drive more traffic to your sites, you should check out today's sponsor, TikTok for Business. It is a global platform designed to help brands like yours become creative storytellers and meaningfully engage with millions of TikTok users. Whether you're looking to attract customers, drive sales, or boost conversions, TikTok's unique ad solutions can get you there. From small businesses to large agencies, TikTok for Business has the tools to help you grow. With TikTok for Business, you can launch your first campaign in just three easy steps. First, answer a few questions, and TikTok will create a personalized marketing plan just for you. Then, craft your content using an easy-to-use template or upload existing creative. Finally, run your campaign and watch your business reach new heights with the most engaged audience online. So why are you waiting? Find the link in the description box and launch your first TikTok campaign today. Let's break down what makes the new MacBook Pro truly remarkable. At its core, you're getting a sophisticated 10-core CPU that intelligently balances power and efficiency through its split-core design. The graphics system features a cutting-edge 10-core GPU incorporating Apple's latest innovations in graphics processing. Memory starts at 16 gigabytes of unified architecture, but here's what's impressive. You can upgrade to 32 gigabytes, and it all runs at a blazing 120 gigabytes per second bandwidth. When you're editing those high-resolution photos, you'll notice it's 1.8 times faster than the previous 13-inch M1 model. For those heavy-duty tasks in Blender, you're looking at 3.4 times faster performance. The neural engine takes things further, processing AI tasks and Apple's intelligence features at triple the previous speed. As for the Studio 2, looking at all the different models, everything seems well thought out. 
The basic version with built-in graphics won't be enough if you need to do lots of creative work. If you're thinking about getting the 4060 version, just know that it uses the same power of 80 watts as the cheaper 4050 models, so it won't be much faster. The main processor is strong, but uses less power than some fancier ones, which works well with the two NVIDIA graphics cards to give you good performance without killing the battery too quickly. Yes, adding more memory and storage costs a lot, but if you need 32 or 64 gigabytes, that's just what you need. Everything makes sense in terms of what you get, it's just that you can find similar computers for less money elsewhere. Every aspect of the new MacBook Pro models represents thoughtful enhancement. Starting with the camera system, you're getting a professional-grade 12-megapixel webcam equipped with center stage tracking and innovative desk view capability. Display customization now includes a nano texture that effectively eliminates reflections while maintaining color accuracy and brightness. According to Apple, the nano texture display is designed to reduce reflections and glare while maintaining best-in-class front-of-screen performance. And this is no ordinary matte display. The nano texture display technology stands out in real-world testing, particularly in challenging lighting conditions, by offering top-notch clarity and visibility even in direct sunlight, with viewing angles that significantly outperform standard displays. Meanwhile, what we're looking at here is Microsoft's PixelSense Flow Display technology, carried over from previous models, running at 2400 by 1600 pixels. The screen's 120 Hz refresh rate ensures incredibly smooth motion, and the touch response is precisely calibrated for both finger and stylus input. Microsoft has taken extra steps with this iteration. They implemented individual display calibration at the factory level and secured Visa Display HDR 400 certification. They've also included special vivid color presets that work with HDR content. Now there is a limitation. The screen doesn't support wider color gamuts like DCI-P3 or Adobe RGB. You can absolutely work on creative projects and run Photoshop, Lightroom, or Premiere Pro without issues. But if you're a professional who needs precise color accuracy, you might want to consider the M4 MacBook Pro so these are the benchmark results of the M4 MacBook Pro. And this one is for Studio 2. Thanks to The Verge for making things even more clear. M4 is showing its raw power and beating Intel in every aspect. Looking at the performance metrics in detail, the standard M4 processor demonstrates substantial improvements across multiple testing scenarios. In Cinebench's multi-core benchmark, we observed a remarkable 64% performance increase over the M3. When pushed to its limits in a 30-minute sustained benchmark loop, the M4 maintained its superiority with a 41% performance advantage. The processor's single-core capabilities showed marked improvement too, with both Cinebench and Geekbench scores rising by more than 20%. Graphics processing wasn't left behind. Despite maintaining the same GPU core count, the M4 delivered up to 25% faster performance in GPU-specific tests. The addition of two extra CPU cores certainly contributes to these enhanced capabilities. Looking at the Surface Studio 2 in depth, we need to address its performance benchmarks, which didn't meet our anticipated standards. There's a modest upgrade from the original Studio model, but let's talk about the critical issue, battery performance. In extensive testing, it only lasted four hours and 19 minutes of operation. To put this in perspective, this is virtually identical to what we observed with the previous generation, which incorporated an RTX 3050 graphics card and was priced at $2699. This becomes particularly significant when we compare it to the MacBooks, which consistently deliver superior battery longevity. So we've drawn a clear line between these two premium laptops. All you have to do is make the right call, and that's totally up to you which one you are going with. But if you ask us about our honest opinion, the M4 MacBook surpasses the Surface Laptop Studio 2 easily. Why? If you're spending nearly $3,000 on a laptop, it should deliver much more, just like the M4 MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.